uh, they go out of harm's way and that could be uh, the thing ab about uh, life and death here and I like the pattern that Omega did here they got the Farsa first and yeah. what they did was they gave NXP solid the, the freedom to pick the Claude they pick it in they lock it in and you know what they got the Hayabusa they got a clear answer for that Claude but I kind of don't like the Hayabusa here, man. I think it's much easier for Team NXP to execute their lineup. Because four heroes here can protect the Claude. And that's how you play the Claude. You just, you just tank all of the damage and let the Claude hit, hit yeah. from behind. But then again, Manjin, how do you catch the Hayabusa? For the side of Omega. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's as, right. Long as, as long as Haji is really cautious here, not to get uh, locked by any AOE disables for the side of uh, NXP Solid. Uh -huh. I think Hayabusa is going to be safe. It's it's a retribution carrier. Mm -hmm. But there is a bit of a spin it to win it lineup here for the side of uh, Omega. I'm not saying that they, they, they will only rely on luck. It's going to take some skill as well. Yeah. The Selena is... If the Selena hits someone on the other side, and, and if, easy kill. If it hits Claude, easy kill. That's going to be an easy kill. Without a purify, that's going to be an easy kill. But Claude nowadays don't really get the purify. Is H two O forced to get the purify? I think he is. He needs to. He needs to, cause you also have a Cho, and you don't want to play a Claude with a Cho because the Cho can catch you two times. Okay. So, so it's going to be a side lane, a side lane farce. Uh, Oh, the Selena is the support. The Selena is the support. So the Farsa will get easy experience. Yes. It makes sense. It makes more sense for me, to be honest. Because you know what? You just need the level 4. If you need that leverage, you go to the side lanes. Uh-huh. Yeah. Good point there, Butters. As uh, both of the, the tank supports will try to poke each other. But meanwhile, Omega will quickly go to the purple and give Hajizi... The purple buff. So, standard start coming in for both of the teams. What do we get with this Farsa uh, side lane butters? This is new to me. It's good against um, X Borg here because oh. he can take out the X Borg. Um, he can take out the X Borg armor. MB can't really reach him that fast. Renegade as well. Oh. The poking capability of a Farsa is just better. But there is a kill on side of Omega. Yeah. I like it, Butters. I get your point. The mobility from the Farsa can uh, also dodge the side lane. Actually, he's not against an X board. He's up against he, a Gatot. It, uh, he, he, the Toshi is up against a Gatot, and right now, Omega, knowing that their win condition is aggression, they're doing it, going for the early uh, steals and invade, and going for the early damage. And GZ now with another free kill, three kills for the side of Omega already. That is how annoying a Selena is. Yes. And it's not about Omega having the better draft at this point. Yeah. It's all about the Selena that can actually just hit people from afar and just stun them. Chester here got hit twice already. Ooh. So those two kills came from a Selena alone. Yep. They need to respect it. Like what you've said, Butters, uh, whenever the Selena hits you, 3 second arrow, how many pops does the Feather Airstrike have? Three as well. So easy burst oh. for the side of Omega. There you go. It's a level four on Toshi. Plus another Selena pick off. This two mage setup is working well for Omega in this early game. So this is going to be really hard for H2O. Oh, he does not have the mana. Uh -huh. He does not want to get out. He even places his BMI in front. He baited out Haji there for the shurikens, but still doesn't really matter. Yeah. It retracts, he doesn't have mana, he just has energy and it will regenerate. Yeah, because you want to get that uh, that purple buff for you to spam the Art of TV every time. Because mm -hmm. now, Claude's, right now in the carry department, what they do is they get the cooldown reduction shoes mm -hmm. so that they can easily get the Art of TV stacks also with a lot of jungle farm. That's an easy movement speed boost for you. But without that, Omega delayed the Claude, delayed the experience, and right now they're in the lead. Mm -hmm. And uh, mind you, Manjin, H2O here, he just needs to stay focused, mm -hmm. not really care about what's happening right now. Yeah, as just long farm. as they're not giving out the turrets, that's going to be fine. Remember, time is on their side. This is still a Claude. 
yeah. a clod with full items can just run around people. Chester here might actually go down once more. Yeah. But he actually survives. But we actually said that Team Omega plays in the late game. And if NXP Solid fails their early game play style, they actually lose. And look at that! He's Mr. Fundamental Heat with the steel. I, is that the concussive blast? Yes, that was the concussive um, and We usually see that with allies, right? And, and look at H2O. He is forced to get the demon boots. Yeah, he's forced to get it. He's the, forced to get the for demon the, boots for the mana just region. For the mana region. Yep. And you would want to get the magic boots for the extra cooldown reduction. Yeah, because but yeah. right now he's forced to do that. Because because you can easily time your art of TV again with the with the cooldown boots. You have like a probably 0.5 seconds. I'm not kidding for that. If you have the cooldown boots, but with the mana boots, you really need to get targets mm -hmm. for you to stack it out. So with this, look at the gold Another. lead. One K gold lead coming in from Mega. Another kick from Heat. Stun coming in from Hayes plus Garote. But of course, Chester is just too tanky. But no, Toshi with the follow up. You wanna know how good Omega is with their communication? How? At the last moment of the kick. Of uh, Heat, the yeah. Wave of the Dragon, yeah. there was an arrow going straight for Chester. Wow. That is a no-look arrow pass. And and that is that is players knowing they're oh layering. And look at Hayes here. He, he might can actually... burst this. Oh. 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 Almost. Almost. But Toshi is here. Oh. oh. Flame shot. H2O dodging. <laughs> dodging that there. <laughs> Goodness gracious, this Omega lineup, they are really strong and they are pushing the buttons here onto the side of NXP Solid really hard and it's pressuring NXP Solid in a way that they cannot answer with any objective, with any kill on their side. But that is your answer. I think that is your answer there in the bottom side. The bomb, Ready J, able to pull off a clutch kill. But meanwhile, Chester is here tanking out. Three heroes going in for the Raging Sandstorm plus the Vengeance, but here comes the oh. Guardian follow up from NXV. Flamethrower coming in from Yaoi. Omega, low health right now, but Hajizi, come on, coming in with the Shurikens, was able to get that Khalid kill. Looking at the Gillette instant replay, what happened there, Butters? That was a very nice play coming out from MB, realizing that he needed to help his allies. That could have been the kill on a uh, Toshi, uh, not really Toshi, but uh, Heath. But remember, at that moment on, Yaoi didn't have his Piraga armor, so there was no last insanity. Oh, yeah. If it stacked, that would have been two kills on their side. Yep. So, still, given the situation, <laughs> Omega is still leading because, they, again, no kills for NXP on that team fight. So, man. Uh, Oh, Omega right now, because of the win yesterday, they're now unfazed in heat. Just going in, confident enough with the kick. Doesn't matter even if Renny J has the ultimate. It's okay. Flowing blood in, trying to go for the counter go. But Omega still owning. And seven minutes in, 10 to 1. Chester, 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 really having a hard time. And this is one of the playstyles that you do not want to see from the side of NXP Solid. Omega right now is just dissecting whatever it is NXP Solid is planning. They're not really executing well for the side of NXP Solid. And it's not because they're it's not because that they're not capable. Yeah. It's because Omega is not letting them. Yeah. Plus I think they got surprised with the Farsa pick. I think NXP was preparing for their own Farsa pick. But with the <laughs> with the intelligence of Dale. <laughs> Doing mind games to NXP. It's denial. It's a denial. Denying it's a the Farsa. It's a block by Dale. It's a block by Dale. There block you go. by Dale. Block by Dale. Denying that Farsa pick. Surprise, says Mr. Worldwide. Not and there oh. you go. Another kick from Mr. Fundamental. H2O using the Purify. Avatar Guardian, but it got cancelled. Where are you going, Yaoi? Going nowhere. Killing spree coming in. Omega. Eight minutes in now with three core items, almost three core items, hoping to end this game. 
And Hayabusa almost has the hepatitis. Next item is going to be an endless battle. And this is going to be a problem on the side of NXP Solid. Just I think because, this is it. Just because the Demon Hunter Sword isn't still up for that lot. Yeah. And without the Demon Hunter Sword, your ultimate doesn't have damage. Like, seriously, you can tank it up. Mm -hmm. Queen Plus, Swings. Queen Swings, first item for, for, uh, Khalid. for Khalid. But I think the Demon Hunter Sword is not enough. You need another, like, core item, probably in, the, in this battle or or the Golden Staff. Because the only damage output for NXP Solid is on the side of H2O. And I think he needs to wait, like, probably five minutes more to get another item or six mm -hmm. minutes. Yeah. You know what? It's all about the item uh, potential here, item progression here for the side of NXP Solid. I, I really like that point, Manjin, uh -huh. that you are pointing out the things or the progression here onto the side of Omega. It's a faster progression, and just because they have this big lead against uh, NXP Solid, they can go straight for those big items. Yeah. But for NXP Solid right now, they're having trouble into just turning into big items because they have to adjust on the fly. Look at, look at Chester. Oh. He is with Queen, queen swings. swings. You don't really see that an, an as early, a first item this early. An early Queen Swings. And probably H2O is forced to pick a defensive item too. Right? Because mm -hmm. now all of the heroes for Team Omega, they now have damage. And Heat, look at that. Blade Armor. Blade Armor just to counter H2O. And uh, this is going to be a big problem onto the side of NXP Solid, Holy Crystal, Holy OMG, Holy Crystal, Holy Crystal for that Toshi yeah, Farsa, yeah. just in the nick of time for Omega to push it out because they also have the Lord, this level 1 Lord is probably it, Chester getting hit by the arrow, another kick from the Mr. Fundamental hit, monster kill, there you go Hajizi, Butters, Omega right now, Dust and Dawn, ladies and gentlemen, with the win, with the victory that they have yesterday, still continuing the streak, Curtisy and Ajizi, they, we they went too deep, but man, it's okay, that's just a rehearsal, Omega right now, getting the tower in the top lane, top lane and Whoa. I think it's over, oh, oh my glove, almost, Toshi with that. With the combos, bro, and every turret that is up for um, that is up for uh, NXP Solid is now down. Omega, what a performance coming out from them! MB is down. Yeah, we here trying to save the base. There you, there you go. There you go. I think enough has been said. Team Omega are still the ones. They are still the main threat. Omega getting 1-0 against NXP. And this is Haji Unleashed. Haji Z, what a performance coming out from this guy. And I really like the draft. As you can see, smiling faces here. And you don't really see Hay smile that much. Yeah. But still, they are focused. They're not celebrating. Because they know it's too, still too early to celebrate. Man, the combo from Hayes, Haji, and Toshi.